Hi everyone, the Treefer here, and welcome to this latest Focus Friday video. Um, today I will be telling you something about some fish I have in my tank, the Evansi Antias. So these are uh, uh, family members of the Antias family, and there are a lot of different variants of this uh, fish. Um, usually uh, recognizable by their uh, beautiful colors and their uh, group-like behavior. So what you'll see is that they uh, they always uh, try to uh, cling together. So uh, to show you which fish I'm talking about, they are those right here. So they're a bit twitchy, um, but very uh, beautiful uh, fish. So like I uh, said, most of these uh, fish usually uh, travel in groups or live in groups shoals um, and uh, well as you can also see uh, this is not much of a shoal um, I've had a, a couple more but uh, uh, eventually they uh, divided into two groups and then uh, the other two because I had five they they eventually perished um, I'm still thinking about adding uh, another uh, couple so I have five again, so I think five is a nice group uh, to have. Um, but I'm uh, not sure yet, since I already have quite a lot of fish, adding more fish would be, uh, I don't think would be very beneficial to the overall tank health, since the bio load is already quite uh, heavy on my tank. So, um, Evansi are considered uh, somewhat uh, harder to keep uh, Antheas, uh, especially uh, since they require uh, uh, a lot of food and not actually not a lot of in the sense of volume but more in the sense of supply so um, there's a couple of different opinions uh, going around for for uh, various uh, antias and that's uh, uh, some people say they need a continuous food source and other people say well I'll just feed them once a day and they're fine um, I'm part of the last category, so I don't feed my fish very often. I do feed, uh, um, like I already mentioned a couple of times, mustic every Friday, but that's just once a week. And then every day uh, in the evening or near the evening, I'll uh, feed uh, mysis and krill. And then the rest of the day, I don't feed directly. So these fish need to uh, uh, live off whatever is already in the tank. And uh, apparently they're doing fine. So, uh, for example, I've had these uh, Antias for um, well at least a year, I think, maybe even two. Um, and they're uh, well, they look healthy. They're not thin. They're active, as you can see. Um, so, I think this is the example or the proof that you uh, don't have to feed these fish continuously to uh, keep them uh, uh, in your tank. So if you're considering Antias, I wouldn't say buy the Avanci straight away. Do think about it because like I mentioned, I did have five and now I have three. So uh, they are sensitive fish, um, but these, these three have, uh, have survived for quite a while. So as you can see, the color is um, a very bright pink with very bright yellow that makes them uh, uh, a site for uh, for sore eyes so it's a very uh, um, I think a nice contrast with the other fish since pink is not a color that you uh, see a lot in uh, reef tank fish there are some other antias which also uh, look similar to the Evansi like for example the Bartlett these I also think are a bit easier to keep in terms of uh, feeding so you can also consider those and then there are uh, well dozens of different uh, ones you can uh, choose from uh, some are uh, somewhat more active some are somewhat uh, calmer as you can see these are quite active and uh, well I think overall having a shoal of uh, antias in your tank is a, a, a well a nice view it's always nice to have a, a fish that are shoaling together um, and these are the only fish in my tank that actually do. So uh, also you can uh, consider other fish that uh, swim in shoals, like for example, Chromis. 
but Chromis also have a history of uh, uh, cannibalism towards each other. Also not proven, so some people might disagree. Um, but uh, well, it's a. Uh, it's always nice to have a, 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 a shoaling uh, fish in your tank. So overall they are uh, um, pretty active during the day as you can see. Well of course I just uh, fed now, fed them. So they're uh, pretty, uh, pretty uh, active at the moment. And uh, in the night they, uh, they will try to uh, uh, find a safe spot. So they will hide between the uh, in the crevices of the rocks and between the rocks. So when you uh, look with a flashlight in the night, then you will uh, see them uh, hiding uh, somewhere uh, between the rocks most of the time. So overall, yeah, I, I don't have a lot more to tell about these fish at the moment. So let's just keep this a short one for uh, for today. Um, and uh, well, I hope you get a got a nice view of these fish. Um, if you have questions about the Avanci, feel free to ask. I uh, may be able to answer those questions. And to sum it up, I think these are uh, uh, beautiful fish. Um, uh, uh, not easy to keep. It's definitely not impossible to keep. Given the success, success I've had in the past one to two years. And uh, well, when you consider buying them, try to look for a... Uh, uh, fish that are already shoaling together to prevent uh, the, the fact that I had where there are two different shoals competing against each other um, which is uh, eventually not good for their health and which uh, will make sure they will perish uh, in the end at least one of the groups will perish unless they join together which uh, I uh, have seen uh, didn't happen so uh, try to find a, a nice group that's already swimming together that will increase the success rate so let's keep it at that for uh, for now. Um, I'll uh, I hope you have a nice uh, weekend. Uh, maybe I'll do uh, uh, a somewhat more extensive video uh, during the weekend. I'm not sure yet, uh, but at least uh, for sure I'll see you again next Friday. So bye bye for now. Cheers.